Diseases caused by pollution lead to the deaths of about 8.4 million people each year. However, pollution receives a fraction of the interest from the global community. This is in part because pollution causes so many diseases that it is often difficult to draw a straight line between cause and effect. There are many different types of pollution-related diseases, including those caused by air pollution, contaminated soil, water pollution and lacking water, sanitation and hygiene wash, air pollution can be reduced. <laughs> environmental diseases vs. pollution-related diseases Environmental diseases are a direct result from the environment. This includes diseases caused by substance abuse, exposure to toxic chemicals, and physical factors in the environment, like UV radiation from the sun, as well as genetic predisposition. Meanwhile, pollution-related diseases are attributed to exposure to toxins in the air, water, and soil. Therefore, all pollution-related diseases are environmental diseases, but not all environmental diseases are pollution-related diseases. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Air pollution diseases. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, air pollution is linked to 7 million premature deaths. Here is a breakdown by the diseases air pollution causes. Topic: Outdoor air pollution. Forty percent ischemic heart disease. Forty percent stroke. Eleven percent chronic obstruction pulmonary disease. Six percent lung cancer. 3% acute lower respiratory infections in children. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Indoor air pollution. 34% stroke. 26% coronary artery disease, ischemic heart disease. 22% COPD, chronic obstruction pulmonary disease. 12% acute lower respiratory infections in children 6% lung cancer topic <inaudible> water pollution according to the centers for disease control and prevention cdc waterborne diseases are caused by pathogenic microbes that can be directly spread through contaminated water most waterborne diseases cause diarrheal illness note, not all diseases listed below cause diarrhea. 88% of diarrhea cases worldwide are linked to unsafe water, inadequate sanitation or insufficient hygiene. These cases result in 1.5 million deaths each year, mostly in young children. The usual cause of death is dehydration. Most cases of diarrheal illness and death occur in developing countries because of unsafe water, poor sanitation, and insufficient hygiene. Other waterborne diseases do not cause diarrhea, instead these diseases can cause malnutrition, skin infections, and organ damage. <laughs> waterborne diseases Amoebiasis Beruli ulcer Campylobacter Cholera Cryptosporidiosis Cyclosporiasis Dracunculiasis Guinea worm disease Escherichia coli Fasciolysis Jardiasis Hepatitis Leptospirosis Norovirus Rotavirus Salmonella Schistosomiasis Shigellosis Typhoid fever Topic: Sanitation and hygiene diseases Lymphatic filariasis Dermatophytosis ringworm Scabies Soil transmitted helminthiasis Trachoma 
Topic: <laughs> Vector-borne diseases. Arboviral encephalitis Dengue fever Malaria Onchocerciasis Rift Valley fever Yellow fever Toxins Lead Sources of lead poisoning – pollution include mining, smelting, manufacturing and recycling activities. Cardiovascular disease Cerebrovascular disease Chronic kidney disease Hemorrhagic stroke Hypertensive heart disorder Ischemic heart disease Ischemic stroke Neurological impairment Arsenic Arsenic is a naturally occurring element and can be found in food, water, or air. There are also industrial sources of arsenic, including mining and smelting. People are exposed to elevated levels of inorganic arsenic through drinking contaminated water, using contaminated water in food preparation and irrigation of food crops, industrial processes, eating contaminated food and smoking tobacco. Long-term exposure to inorganic arsenic can lead to chronic arsenic poisoning. Skin lesions and skin cancer are the most characteristic effects. Arsenicosis Cancers lung, bladder, and skin Cardiovascular disease Chronic kidney disease Neurobehavioral impairment <inaudible> Mercury Minamata disease Cerebellar ataxia Kidney and autoimmune dysfunction Acrodynia Dysarthria, Arthritis, Respiratory failure, Neurological damage. <laughs>